All right, today we're going to be making pan fried oven baked herring. Um, had a lot of people ask, How do you eat these things? I did a video on how I pickle them already, and uh, this is one of the quickest, simplest, easiest, tastiest ways to prepare herring. You can prepare them, you can clean your herring at the dock, come home, give them a good rinse in. And I start by making sure that the heron are completely dry before I prepare them. And this is going to be good for, say, about 8 to 12 heron. Um, you could use small, medium size. So your cooking time will vary on the size heron. We'll talk about that. We're going to briefly go over the ingredients to pan fry oven bake these here heron. I start with a uh, flour, about a cup of flour. And... Uh, you can use Old Bay or any kind of Cajun spice, that's what I use today, or you can use any mix of your own dry spice that you want to use. You're going to mix that in with the flour. Um, you're going to need one egg, and you're going to need about one cup of oil, give or take. Um, I use canola oil in this video, and you're going to need two bacon pans. Well, I use two bacon pans for this. Um, it fit the heron perfect. And of course, you're going to need a Ziploc bag and uh, a bowl couple bowls for your egg and your flour of course and uh, the way I prepared this today I prepared this for about this would suit about 8 to 12 heron um, use a little bit more a little bit less flour for the volume of heron you're going to be using so let's get into the preparation and we're going to start by um, I use about one cup of flour um, preparing these heron now if you're going to use more heron less heron you want to use a little bit more flour or a little bit less flour. Um, what you want to do is just make sure they all have an even coating. I'll show you the process. It's rather simple. And of course I added um, my seasoning and a little bit of salt if you like the taste. And uh, like I said, you can use your any season you like. You can use Old Bay, Cajun seasoning, uh, whatever kind of garlic, onion powder mixture that you want to use. And of course, we just got to scramble up um, one egg over here and just scramble that up uh, pretty good. And the great thing about these here, making it like this, it's really quick and really there's nothing much to clean up. Um, you're going to have this cup, you're going to have the bowl that the heron's in, and I don't think that really counts. And uh, it, it, it's very, very, very little cleanup, which is the great part. Now, the key component of this is the Ziploc bag. Um, you can use any bag, a shopping bag if you like, but uh, the Ziploc bags work fine. And uh, the great the cool thing about the Ziploc bag is you, um, they're sturdy and you can actually use it, at, you know, through the time, anytime you want. So we're just going to throw our heron into the, the Ziploc bag with my egg mixture and we're going to seal the top of the Ziploc bag tight. Now if you're using a plastic bag you can kind of twist and turn it and uh, basically you just want to shake it you know we're gonna basically we're shaking and baking and uh, pan frying these here heron. Um, we're gonna cook them off pretty good and we're gonna talk about the cooking part a little bit later and uh, but just make sure that you know you get egg that they're uh, egg on the surface of, of most of you know, all the heron, um, maybe inside the body cavities and whatnot. Give it a good bunch of twist turns and whatnot, and uh, that's all we're doing here. And uh, next part, so the next part here, we're going to open up our Ziploc bag and pour our flour and spice mixture into the Ziploc bag. And I'm just going to drop this here dish, and the, that's our whole cleanup right there. Not bad, huh? and uh, just got to rinse them off but uh, seal up that bag good and again the whole effort of this is going to be uh, cleaning your heron and uh, you can clean them up at the dock uh, bring them home and all you have to do is rinse them off really good and dry them so we're going to give this a good shaking again with the flour and you may need a little more or a little less flour so if you're going to prepare your mixture, you might, if this is your first time doing it, um, you might want to use a little bit more flour and spice seasoning just in case you want, you know, you don't have enough. You don't want the heron wet. You kind of want them to be dry when they come out of the bag. And uh, uh, this is just cutting it just right. Um, 
you really want to dry. Now I'm going to use, I just eyeball everything, so I'm going to use about one cup, and might got to be about one cup in the end of about canola oil, if that, um, for these 8 to 10 heron. But you just pour it on the bottom of the pan, kind of just sift it around and whatnot. And uh, I use two pans for uh, 10 heron. You can use a bigger pan, one pan, and whatnot. But we simply just are now going to place the heron into our baking pan. Uh, you want to leave a little bit of space. That's important. You don't want the heron sticking together as they're cooking in the oven. Um, I'll show you later. You kind of have to lift them up off the pan sometimes. But they, they rather, a uh, little bit of oil, just enough so that there's a little bit of oil just above the fillets. And I'm just preparing the second pan here. And we're going to make sure that there is space between the heron. And uh, uh, I use all different size herons here. If you were using smaller heron, your cooking time is going to be shorter. You need bigger heron, it's going to be longer. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. And I just put a little, zap a little bit more oil just over the top of the heron. Not much. And I just make a line as such. We are making pan fried oven baked heron. And uh, let's talk quickly about time and temperature. Um, I do about 400 degrees for about 60 to 80 minutes. Give Usually on the higher end you want to cook them. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to place our pans in our preheated oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. And we're going to let these guys pan fry for about 30, 40 minutes. So after pan frying, about 30, 40 minutes, depending on the time of your heron, give or take, it's not too important. You want to take your heron out. And uh, this step really adds, um, you can leave them in there, but I like to get the juices or the oils of the fish. And what I'll do is now I'll just layer those oils right on top. And now they're really going to cook good. And I do this 30 to 40 minutes in. And uh, I really do this by feel, touch, touch texture. Um, there's no Pacific time. I want to get those heron to a beautiful, golden, crispy, brown, bubbly uh, perfection goodness. And uh, what I'll do is I'll let them cook and another 15, 20 minutes in, I'll check them um, before they're, you know, completely done. And I'll repeat that process again. I'll put those juices and I'll just right on top. And I should have mentioned, you're going to have to clean a spoon. Um, but you don't have to do this step, but believe me, you're going to want to do this. Okay, so now let's reiterate, uh, they are done. I like to cook them at about 400 degrees for a total time of 60 to 80 minutes, more or less, give or take, depending on the size of your heron. If you're using heron fillet, the process is going to be much, much shorter, but it will be the same. You want to take them out in the middle somewhere, check them, and you want to baste them with uh, the oils and the juices and uh, I like to check them uh, look at that golden brown delicious goodness um, I just kind of eyeball it as they're cooking and you want them to cook such that the bones are going to be uh, soft so you can make sandwiches with them later when you're done eating them I like to let mine get to room temperature um, before I eat them I don't like to eat them piping hot um, I'll let them sit and the heron kind of does its own thing at room temperatures. Those oils in the heron um, firm up and um, you can eat them right through the bone. You can eat the bone. You can peel them off the bone. Um, but I like to cook them to a point of um, you touch them with the top of your spoon, the spoon and you can feel that golden goodness and just going to plate them up. And the beauty of this recipe is it's quick, it's easy, it's simple, fast. You clean your heron at the dock, you come home, you rinse them more thoroughly, you dry them up, uh, reiterate, it's real simple, just some flour, your favorite spice, uh, egg, shake, um, boil up your pans, put them in the pan, bake, baste, and whatnot and uh, really cooked down to a delicious golden goodness. I eat them just like this, and uh, I eat them cold. Again, I like to eat them best served 
at uh, room temperature. But uh, that's about it. Um, I got them all plated out here. I'm gonna let these guys sit and cool off to room temperature. They're great served cold. Cold, I eat them just like this. Um, and if they're left over, I'll make a nice sandwich. Maybe I'll do a video about that. And that's that. Okay, so I had a lot of people ask, how do I cook my heron? And this is one of my favorite ways. Uh, pan fried, oven baked heron. Um, quick, easy, simple, no cleanup. But I am going to get going. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy the heron. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, please like, dislike, comment, whatever you have to say. Um, subscribe to the channel or not, unsubscribe. And uh, remember always, fish your way or cook your way. And uh, thanks again for watching. Have a great afternoon, night, day, evening, wherever you are.